Welcome to the story of a child called Emmanuel. This story is from chapter 7 of Isaiah, verses 10 through 17. The lesson focus for grades 5 through 6 is God works through prophets. The prophet Isaiah spoke for God to God's people during a turbulent time in their history. Isaiah's ministry lasted many years. During these decades, God worked through him. He was called to speak both words of warning and words of promise. This text from Isaiah 7 features both. King Ahaz, the king of Judah, was considering an alliance with Assyria, and God didn't like it. God warned the king it would end in destruction for the people. God wanted King Ahaz to avoid trusting in the pagan neighbors and to rely on God alone. Ahaz refused, however, and insisted on the alliance. God offered to give a physical sign so that Ahaz could trust and heed the warning. Ahaz declined, pretending piety. I will not put the Lord to the test, he said. However, God promised a sign. Since God keeps promises, God gave a sign anyway. Over the centuries, it became famous. The young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. The destruction God warned of happened, but the promise of Emmanuel happened as well. God was with the people through the destruction and in their exile and finally during their return. For hundreds of years, people in Israel remembered these words from Isaiah and clung to the promise that God would save them, and God did. Learning how God acted in the past helps us watch for God's activity in the present. In this story, we see that God works through the prophets to help guide the people to do the right thing and to know God better. God also made an amazing promise that God's people remembered for centuries. God promised a child. Through words of warning and promise, God speaks the truth through the prophets. The truth is this. God is with us. God loves us. God is faithful. God is patient. God wants to work with us and in us and through us. It was true in Isaiah's time, and it is true in ours. Isaiah brought an important message from God. God promised to send a child called Emmanuel, and God did. God works through prophets. Kids are often thought of as powerless, without rights or the ability to change the world. But Jesus knew different, and so do you. The birth of Jesus shows the importance of children. He is not the man called Emmanuel, but a child called Emmanuel. Spread this message to your kids. Kids are important. Kids this age love to predict things. From the winner of a ball game to what they'll be when they'll grow up. Use this love of predicting as they jump into the arrival activity. Lead them to see through their predictions how amazing the messages of the prophets were. Isaiah said that God promised a child and a child came. The Isaiah True or False leaflet activity will get kids thinking about Isaiah as a person, not just the name of a book in the Bible. Encourage a discussion about whether they think there are prophets alive today by asking what they think about a prophet would look like, say, do. Be prepared for creative answers. Kids will have one eye on their friends and one eye on you during the predictions critique activity. At this age, most kids want to blend in, not stand out. Encourage them to get into the activity by 
modeling expressive, excited reactions. If you set a boisterous example, kids will follow. The prophets brought messages to people in Bible times, and prophets still bring their messages to us today. God works through prophets.